You know, had you just waited three minutes, I'd have been a little more grateful. I gave you this job because it was in Hawaii. You ought to be grateful just for that. Did you finish all that you wanted to do? Yeah. I'm glad. With that, you can focus on the mission. What's your situation? I'm still in the prepping stage. I made contact with a good number of people. Just waiting for them to get back to me. Good work. It seems I was right to assign this to you. At least for now. <sighs> There's always something extra, isn't there? Still, I'm counting on you. The higher-ups are rather... passionate about finding the person in question. Till next time. Looking toasty, Suzuki-san. Bring a scarf to go along with that getup? Let's cut the chit-chat. You got any info for me? Actually, you're in luck. News rolled in just today. <laughs> and hot off the press, might I add. Some Japanese detainee busted out of the police station. Japanese? You're sure about that? Who's to say? Could have been they just spoke the language. Somehow that is. Hey, what do you want me to do? I mean, they picked a the guy up naked off the street. They what? Look, I don't know. But unless he was keister stashing, I doubt he had a passport on him. Which means there's no knowing who he is or where he came from. So he was naked? Anything else stand out? Whoa, whoa, easy, pal. We forget how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm ordering big tonight. <sighs> right, so... I guess the dude had a pretty slick tattoo on his back. A tattoo? Word is, it's got like the head of a dragon, but the tail of a fish. <laughs> Real weirdo shit. Huh. Oh, struck a chord, did we? I'm open to tips too, you know. Don't test me. So where is he? Ooh, scary. Supposedly he was spotted over by the art walls. The art walls? Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you. Hey! Huh? <laughs> yeah. You gonna try, Mommy? Bring it on. Yeah! <laughs> 
Try hard. Pretty bold of you. Freeze. Hands up. <laughs> A fitting end for the hero of Yokohama. I doubt Masumi Arakawa would approve. Long time no see, Kasuga. Whoa. Hear you, son? Is that you? Man, am I glad you're here. Hear you, son. Allow me to give you proper thanks. You made me a fugitive's accomplice. Not sure simple thanks will cut it. Hear uh, you, son. Please forgive an idiot like me. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> so, uh, Kiryu-san, why are you here in Hawaii? I'm actually on a Daidoji job. They sent me to find someone. Huh? You mean, this is all... Sorry, but no. I'm not here for you. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> but then, why'd you come get me? In my search, I learned about a Japanese man who matched your description. I couldn't believe it either, but sure enough... Here we are. Right. Makes sense. And you? What are you doing out here? Uh, well... Where do I even start? Kiryu-san, do you remember Akane-san at all? She's Arakawa-san's old flame, and... Well... There's a good chance she might be my mother. Really? The name does ring a bell. If I recall correctly, she was killed. But not long before, she had you. Well, the whole Arakawa-san being my old man thing's still up in the air, but yeah, that'd be her. I'll just come right out with it. Akane-san's apparently alive. She lives here in Hawaii. She's alive? Yeah, is she... As far as I know, she's not well. She wanted to meet her son. Let's just say that's me right now. She didn't want to miss out on that. I see. Yeah, it's why I went to Akane-san's place as soon as I landed. But then, things just kinda... Not only did things get off to a crazy start, Akane-san wasn't even at her house. Her housekeeper was, though. And, you know, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that girl duped me. She duped you? Damn right she did! It's because of her my sunburn ass got thrown in jail. Uh, sorry, but I'm gonna need more details here. I figures as much. Hey, when it rains, it pours, right? The cop was a real prick, too. He didn't even bother hearing me out. That's why... That's why you ran. Is that it? Uh, you sure know how to make a scene. Uh, sorry to say it. Anyway, you can give the full story some other time. What's next? I imagine you've got a plan? Well, right. In any case, I need to get back to Akane-san's house. She might have come home by now. And hopefully that girl's still there. Got it. You know where to go? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah. I, I've been there once already, so I got a good idea. Hang on. 
You're not gonna drive me there, are you? Of course. Or did you forget you're a fugitive? You wander around by yourself. I will just snatch you up again. Man, you really do go the extra mile. You, uh, need a shoulder rub? Do that, and I'll probably crash this thing. Excuse me. Here you are. Yo. when they go all RPG monster on you. Uh, RPG. God, uh, it's nothing. Now, let's make this quick. It's, I'll follow your lead. To the next level. Learning more every day.
Kiryu-san. It's me. Welcome back. I see you've brought company. Kasuga, meet the bartender. I know it's pretty desolate in here, but at least it's good for gathering your thoughts. Hmm. Desolate, he says. Uh, I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kiryu-san here has been all sorts of help to me lately. Hmm. Is that so? Well, the pleasure's all mine, Kasuga. Now that we're all acquainted, how about we have a drink? Sure, it'd be an honor. Kasuga. Yes. Well, that helped take the edge off? Yeah, sure does. Sorry to make you pay for it. I feel like such a dumbass. But man, ain't nothing like drinking up and chowing down in Hawaii. Glad to hear you're enjoying yourself. Oh, yeah, well, it's been a hell of a journey so far. From the moment I came here, I've had nothing but nonstop madness. But you know, seeing you here makes me feel a whole lot better. Getting sucked into local trouble's never easy, is it? That's for sure. Anyway, I'm gonna make it even, for everything you've done for me. Okay, but I won't be holding my breath. Seriously, I'm not talking out of my ass here. For me, getting to help you is a privilege. So whatever I gotta do, just say the word and it's done. All right. <laughs> I can tell you mean it. Thanks for the offer, Kasuka. Hey, any time, Kiryu-san. It really is an honor. Well, here's to our strange reunion. Right on. Cheers! <sighs> oh. You gonna sleep all day? It's getting close to noon. What? <clears throat> You, you son. Why are you here? Hell, why am I here? For reference, we never left the bar. After you passed down at the counter, I had to lug you up here myself. No, oh, my bad. Strange. I can usually drink way more than that. Guess you're pretty exhausted. A good night's sleep can help. 
Yeah, I'm feeling 110% now. Good. And it's time we headed out. Right, to Akane-san's house. I left the car out in front of my hotel. We'll take that to get there. Sounds good. You're up early. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Didn't mean to park my ass upstairs my first time here. Honestly, it's no problem. I used to charge per night, but that was long ago. Nowadays, that room's only good for storage. If you ever need a rough over your head or a place to speak in private, feel free to make yourself at home. Really? Awful kind of you, man. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd say this, but a friend of his is a friend of mine. So swing on by anytime. Yeah, you bet. See you around. Let's get serious. What you looking at? I'll be collecting your gun. The battle is on! Here we go. It's over! Let's get serious. This ain't a show, dipshit. I'm gonna crush you! Bring it on. Here we go. So you're in it, time.
Hey, hey! You're running late already. Come on over here. Huh? I know you're short on experience. Don't sweat it. Just bring that same friendly face you had in the interview. You're even more amiable in person. <laughs> I can tell. It's great to have you on board, Palakiko. Hey, hang on a second. You confused or something? I'm not Paula... whoever. Huh? No, we spoke online. Me and you. Kazu Palakiko, right? I hate to break it to you. My name's Kasuga. But where is he then? He's already an hour and 20 minutes late. What the... Hasn't it dawned on you that he's not coming? No, Palakiko wouldn't do that to me. We had a real connection in our interview. Your online interview, you mean? Sorry, but it sounds like you got sucker. No, 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 no. Even through our computer screen, I could tell he was a good guy. He had such compassionate eyes. Like yours. You've got the same kind of handsome face. Uh, oh, uh, that's sweet of you. Ah, Kasuga, you probably right. He's not coming. But then I can't open a restaurant, and I'm fully booked today. Well, uh, haven't you got any part-timers you could call in? Ah, this place has always been a one-man operation. I've kept a handle on things so far by limiting our tables. Not really practical. So, Paula Kiko was gonna help you finally start serving a full house? Yes, you understand. Paula Kiko. Oh god, do you think he was in an accident? That would explain everything. I get that you don't want to believe he ditched you, but if you got no backup, you need to start turning folks away. Where am I gonna find backup? A waiter needs exactly the right kind of face. He needs eyebrows like curious caterpillars. A nose stout enough to withstand a knockout punch. Eyes gray like fog, slinking over alleyway trash bags. Hmm. Wait a moment. Why didn't I see it sooner? Palakiko's dead ringer right in front of me. And just imagine how you'll fill out the uniform. Forgive me. It'll just be for today, I swear. You'll help me, won't you, Kasuga, my friend? I'm sorry, but I've got zero skill in food service. Nonsense. It'll be fine. After all, you only need to take orders and carry plates. Kasuga, your arrival here is practically fate. I'll pay you, of course, and you can even eat here. What do you say? Kasuga, thank you, thank you. Now, you mentioned you have no experience, didn't you? Yeah, I got no idea how this is supposed to work. Okay, allow me to go over the basics with you. This way, please.
Totally. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes.
Yes. Yes.
<sighs> yeah. Thank you. Kasuga, you just might have saved my business. I'm so grateful. You come back for a bento whenever you want, got it? I mean that. Oh, good deal. Well then, I suppose I'll have to find full-time help now. He's hoping they're as good as you. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there. People with experience, even. No, 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 no. Haven't I proven it to you by now, you handsome rogue? Kasuga. The face makes the server. He might have bailed on me, but Palakiko had that face too. I knew it the moment I saw him. How good could he be if he bailed? Oh, but Kasuga, you proved how skilled he would have been. You two are dead ringers for one another. You share that trustworthy visage. Obi-san, you really believe in my face that much, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh. I'm late. I know. I was supposed to start work here today. The name's Kazu Palakiko. I don't look anything like this guy.
I'll be fine. Pretty good. Let's get started. Are you looking at your face? Is the battle's on. Yes. Let's do this, guys. Yeah. Here's what true friends are made of.
<laughs> These turned out real nice. Hey there. Snap any good photos? Yeah, they came out perfectly. I got the most amazing shots. Hawaii's heaven on earth for a photographer like me. I'm sure. This place has so many beautiful sights and scenes. I like the beaches. No doubt there's plenty of photo ops. Hey, if it's all right with you, can I look at some of your photos? Oh, sure. I don't mind. Are you a tourist or something? Yeah, something like that. I usually hang around Yokohama, but I had some business to take care of here. Name's Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. I'm George Kuroki. You can always find me riding the trolley and taking pictures. Nice to meet you too, Kasuga Chab. You said you wanted to see my pictures, did you? Then here, take a look. These are the finest photos I've ever taken. Let's see. Um. Uh. What the hell? So what do you think? Incredible, aren't they? What do I think? Dude, what's your deal? Every one of these guys is a sicko. Well, of course they are. My field of photography is sickos, after all. Lifestyles of the sick and infamous. You can specialize in that? Yeah, and Hawaii is the best place to find them. A lot of folks let loose when they come here, and some of them get a little too carried away. Take this viral video from a while back. Apparently, some whack job in a mask went around harassing tourists and put it on camera. And now the number of copycats imitating that video skyrocketed. They've been disguising themselves and pulling even more stupid stunts around town. This place is turning into a hotbed of depravity. The perfect work environment for a photographer of the obscene! Hey, this is your job? You can really make money off of this shit? <laughs> you can make a pretty penny, actually. Who do you think pays for them? Uh, people just as obscene as you? Obscene as me? Good luck! Listen, the cops are the ones coughing up the cash. You hear me? The cops. <laughs> seriously? Yeah, seriously. I told you, the number of copycats are skyrocketing. That means the police are having a hard time taking care of them. So they came to me to do something about it. They figured the most efficient way to round them up was to get me in on this. You know, since I'm always taking shots of them anyway. Okay, so how's a photographer supposed to help? Well, in short, the cops use my pictures to find these sickos and arrest them. We have it great so that whenever I snap a photo, the picture data immediately gets sent to the cops. And with the picture data, they can pinpoint where the sickos are and catch them in the act. Plus, if I can photograph them doing the deed, then the pictures also double as criminal evidence, so it's two birds, one stone. Anyway, I'm doing noble work here. Maybe one day, I'll get me a medal. Well, I guess that explains your bizarre taste in photography. <laughs> You're catching on. And since the trolley is the most efficient way to get around Hawaii, it makes my job easier than ever. There's no way anyone would suspect they're being watched and photographed on the fly. Honestly, it's pretty fun. Just search for sickos hiding themselves in a crowd of normal, ordinary people and snap a photo. Kind of like a game. Huh, sounds fun when you put it that way. You want to give it a whirl? Oh, who, me? I don't know if I'll be any good at it, though. I haven't used a camera much at all. That's fine. I'm not telling you to create a masterpiece or anything. All you gotta do is look for people wearing stuff on their heads and snap a picture once you spot them. No need for any fancy tricks or techniques. Just try to keep the focus on the subject. Have them as large and centered as possible. That's how you can rake in more cash. If you think you can handle it, then give it your best shot. All right, guess I'll do a little test run. Nice! Snap away, Kasuga Chan. Gonna get some good shots. Good enough for me. Shots 
came out real nice. Came out real nice. Shots came out real nice. Good enough for me. Shots came out real nice. Good enough for me. Shots came out real nice. Came out real nice. Good enough for me. Shots came out real nice. Came out real nice. Good enough for me. Shots came out real nice. Shots came out real nice. Good enough for me. Came out real nice. I need to step it up. Good enough for me. Shots came out real nice. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. Came out real nice. Got some great shots. Great work, Kasuga Chow. You know, you're pretty good at this. You did well for your first time. Oh, yeah? I was tougher than I thought, though. These sickos really pop out of nowhere. Well, that's what sickos do show up where people don't want them. But they usually have a pattern, to some degree at least. If you manage to pin it down, then getting some nice shots will be a piece of cake. It takes a few tries to get the hang of it, but I'm sure you'll be a phenomenal degenerate photographer in no time. Oh, before I forget, here's your reward for that photo session just now. Since it was your first time, I gave you a little bonus. Go on, take it. Normally, we use a point-based system, where you earn points based on the quality of your pictures. You can then trade those points for cash or items, but this time, special. Oh, right. You can take this, too. A camera? Are you sure I can have this? Yeah, I have another one of the same model. Don't worry about it. It's all yours. There are multiple trolley lines aside from this one that the police are using to snap pictures. Each line's got its own difficulty and unique breed of sickos, too. For now, just brush up your skills at Aloha Beach. It's the easiest spot to take photos from. And once you've gotten your bearings, give the other trolley lines a try when you're feeling up to it. Got it! Well, now that I've got a camera, I'll try to do my part. Might not be much help, but I'll do my best where I can. Thanks. If you got any questions or just something random to say, you can come talk to me anytime. Will do. All right then. Good luck out there, Kasuga-chan. You too.
<laughs> Yippee! There's a ton of sickos over there. Oh boy, give me some more of that action. Mom, what's he doing? Oh, don't look, sweetie. We call people like him a sicko. <sighs> What's next? I'm starving. Let's dig in. Yeah, that was great. I can't get over how beautiful the ocean is here. Better make the most of it and go for a dip sometime. What you looking at? You really pissing me off? The battle is on! Come on, get some! Doing better than I thought.
Here we go. Don't get caught. Time to put you down. Stronger. Oh, darn it. What should I do? Huh? Yo, everything okay? Hey, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Just looked like you were worried about something. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye? Wait, you're covered in mud. Uh, mud? Uh... I'm... I'm a mess. Sorry. No. Got it. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes. 
Yeah. Got it. Goodbye. Ah. Sup? Hi. すみませんでした。Thanks. Thanks. Sup? Thanks.
Go. Huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, Kasuga-san. Hey, looks like we're right on time. Look who I brought. This is how youth should be. Actually, I heard about the legend of Aloha Beach too. So, I wrote a letter of my own. Huh? But when I got to the beach, I couldn't find you. Then I got roped into being buried in the sand. Now, well, the letter's in no condition to give to you. Give it to me. But... It's not fair that only I gave you my letter. I want to see yours, too. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it really is ruined. I can't make out a single word, but I love it. I'll treasure this funny letter forever. Mabe-san. Hey, why'd you send this guy to find me instead of coming yourself? Oh, well, my clothes happened to get dirty. Uh, while I washed them off, Kasuga-san agreed to step in as the pinch hitter. I wasn't about to confess to you in a muddy uniform. <laughs> Your uniform, my letter, both got muddy. <laughs> I guess so. Kasuga-san, thank you for everything. Yeah, Kasuga-san, thanks so much. Here, let me give you this. <laughs> what a story. I wish you two all the best from here on out. Thanks. A legend of Aloha Beach, huh? I wonder if there are any other folks giving letters out there right now. <laughs> well, it's a little embarrassing, but I believe it now. Kasuga-san. If there's anyone you like, you should definitely try it. Look how it worked for us. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll consider it. Although, didn't the legend say the person has to be buried in the sand? Oh, 
I'll take you on. Huh? Aloha! Thank you. Don't worry. What? Get ready. Bring it on. Here we go. Time to take out the trash. Don't get caught. This is it, Kiryu-san. You're sure this is the place, Kasuga? Yeah, I'm sure. Might have been pissed drunk, but my memory's sharp as ever. Doors open, Kiryu-san. Hey! Is anybody home?
It's just the same as it was that night. Kiryu-san, you find anything? No, I can't say I have. But let me ask you something. What's up? You're sure this is Akane-san's address? The place her mother lives? Uh, it should be. Not that I've actually seen her here, but... How about this, then? Is Akane-san the woman in this photo? What the...? She looks older, but yeah, that's her. But wait, what are you doing with her photo, Kiryu-san? What's going on here? Remember how the Daidoji ordered me to find and detain a certain someone? Akane-san's that someone. What? You're telling me some government spy rings after my mom? I don't know why, but that seems to be the case. <clears throat> Yamai! What's she doing here? Hmm. Causing trouble, no doubt. You know him? He's pretty infamous in Hawaii. At least in the underworld. Well, seems we've got company. Nice ride. Ah. <laughs> oh, shame I had to do that. Go. Tomizawa. Don't disappoint me this time. I, I, I won't. Guess we're doing this. <laughs> Too bad they don't know who they're dealing with. Ready to bust some heads, Kiryu-san? Not today. Let's slip out through the back. Huh? Uh, Kiryu-san? Round back. All right, we're in business. Get in, Casca. Don't move. <laughs> you again? Oh, Somizawa, right? Looks like your mind got you pretty bad. You healing up okay? Just shut up and stay put, all right? If, if I don't take you out right here, it's all over for me. His hand's shaking. I doubt he has a shot at this range. On my signal, you get in the car. Hold that thought. There's something I need to do first. What are you saying? Uh, hey! Kasuga! One more step, and these bullets go right through your brain! My advice? You put that down and get yourself over to a hospital. Actually, we could even take you. Oh yeah? Is that some kind of threat? <sighs> Tell me, did you swear an oath to Yamai? What? Yeah, so what if I did? I say you slap that oath back in his face. Uh. In the Yakuza, your boss calls all the shots, whether it means life or death. That also means he better be worth your blood on his hands. So tell me, is Yamai worth it? I can't just... Look, I don't have a choice here, man! If I back out now, you will kill me. You don't know him like I do. 
We can help you. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> what? What'd you say? I said, we can help you, and I meant it. We'll make sure your mind never lays a hand on you again. You can count on that. Why? Why, though? After everything I did to you? Do I look like a fucking moron? <laughs> you look like you're about to shit your pants. Believe me, though, I've been there. <laughs> Where all you want to do is scream for help, but you know no one will answer. That's a dark place to be. <laughs> Thing is, sometimes you will get an answer. I learned that from a man who bailed me out when I was just a young punk on the streets. So I figured I ought to pay it forward. And now would be the time. <sighs> Atta boy, Tommy Zama. That's more like it. Let's see who we're dealing with. Oh, this fool again. Yeah, this fool. Why the hell are you here? Took the words right out of my mouth. Where's the old lady? I don't gotta tell you shit, man. Oh, you'll wish you had. Tomizawa. Uh. Shoot him on the count of three. After that, we can try your buddy over there. Say, I know you. M boss? No, perhaps not. Back to business. One. You still have a choice here. Two. Tomizawa! Some choices you can't undo, I would know. So if you're gonna take us out now, get ready to carry that weight for the rest of your life. Huh. <laughs> and three. <laughs> Tomizawa. Holy shit! Holy shit! I would have shot him! <laughs> hey, but you didn't, all right? Now don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Ain't that right? Yeah. The man's made a bold step forward. Let's do our part and clear the path ahead. Okay, boys. Listen up. I want one man maimed and the other murdered. Doesn't matter which. But save Tomizawa from me. I'll make sure he wishes he was never even born. Allow me.
Allow me. It's over! Attention all passengers, you might want to buckle up. Kane-san's nowhere to be found. And now, nearly all of Hawaii's underground's in the mix. Hawaii's supposed to be a real slice of paradise. Too bad trouble's never too far behind. Nothing like a sunrise in Hawaii.
I'll do it. Yep. Amizawa. Uh huh. Here you, son.
smell of fresh coffee. I oh, didn't know you were a coffee drinker, Chichan. Oh, heck yeah. I'm happy just staring at it. Okay. You know how some cafes use those drip machines? They're pretty enchanting to watch. And different cafes have different ones. Coffee watching, huh? There's a hobby for everyone. Maybe I should be more observant next time I grab a cup. <laughs> Just don't mad dog the barista or they might spill. All right. Sleep deprived or something? Yeah, couldn't sleep a wink. Just tossing and turning all night. Hey now, sleep is life. You gotta take care of yourself. I'll let you borrow this, so try it out tonight. What? Don't tell me it's sleeping pills. I don't. Special theory of relativity through quantum mechanics. It's a book. Holy shit, it's huge! You actually carry this fucker around? Yeah, you read a few pages and you're in snooze land before you know it. Yeah, but. What do I do with the other 944 pages? We're really opening up. Looks like 
Alright, got him up. Sure, I'll play Don't get caught. Come on! What? Oh! Ready when you are. Here we go. Let's go. Time to take out the trash. Do your work. see many taxis cruising around Hawaii. Well, people tend to reserve rides from their hotels or catch one at a taxi port. Taxi drivers in Hawaii are generally a pretty friendly, good nature. Plus, they got the lowdown on all the best spots, so feel free to ask them for good tips. <laughs> you're awfully knowledgeable. Almost as if you're a pro driver yourself there, Tommy. Hey, I'm a taxi driver to the phone. Just don't have a car at the moment. All right. and cars are big in Hawaii. Everything's supersized. Just wait till you try the fast food here. Order a medium and suddenly you've got an extra large. <laughs> At least by Japanese standards. Yeah, no kidding. If I lived here a few months, I'd go back home and be like, yo, what'd you do to the food? You use a shrink ray or something? <laughs> I bet you would. Too bad we can't shrink the travel time. We're really opening up. rain come from? I heard Hawaii gets a lot of sudden showers, but I didn't expect it to be this quick. Watch where you're looking! You must get hurt! 
I assume the rent around here is pretty high. Probably. Now you got me curious. I'ma look it up. You ever see a nice home and wonder what it's like to live there? Yeah, I guess so. It's nice to imagine stuff. Living it up in a place to call your own. Uh. I guess a guy can dream. So, according to this, you'll need to shell out 2,500 bucks a month. That'd be somewhere over 300,000 yen? Damn, forget that. Yeah, guess you'll have to keep dreaming. All right. Passengers, you might want to buckle up. Follow your lead. Hey. What? Hmm? 
Here I come. Armed and ready. Here they come. Allow me. Right now. Oh, come on. Bring it. Time to put you down. To the next level. Think I'm getting stronger. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Learning more every day. Who knew I had it in me? Hey, I'm even stronger now. I think I'm getting better at this. Guess I'm a fast learner. A cafe. Now that could be real nice. Running a chill little spot by the ocean, whipping up coffee for my regulars, just up and out. <sighs> what a serene way to go about life. You're a bit of a people person, Ichiban. So you are perfect for front of house. What? You're counting me as one of your staff already? Oh, you bet. So start networking. Bring in those regulars and get me some discounted supplies. Here we go again. Tell me the hustler. Might as well get to work. We're really opening up.
do that. One of these beach chairs for my place. I bet I could slap one together with a little bit of canvas and some wood. Huh? You went to DIY, Tommy? Yeah, I could make most things that you use on the daily, like tables and shelves. Wow, so you're good with your hands. Then can you carve a bear out of wood? Seriously? A wooden bear. I said I make stuff for daily necessities, not trinkets for tourists. But I could take a stab at it. For real? If you ever do, I would proudly put it on display. All right. Heyday of darts here. It's one of my favorite games. I happened to buy a set of Primo darts just the other day. Wow, you're that into it? Then let's play together sometime. I'll help you break those darts in. Eh, they might get stretched up. Let's just stick to rental darts. Jeez, forget I said anything. We're really opening up. Darts in Hawaii too? Gotta say, that's pretty classy. Hey, uh, you can play me if you want. Just be ready to lose. You're on, and I don't plan on losing. For the championship, let's make it epic. Game on. Oh, come on. Nice. Ah, just like that. Not bad. 110. My turn. Okay. Ah, <sighs> uh, I think I'm screwed here. You got it. 119. Good. Ah. Nice. Nice. One hundred and one.
Time to seal the deal. You require 146. Nice. Seriously? Okay. You got a ton? 120. You require oh, just like that. 90. Oh, come on. Mm. Yikes. Bastard. My turn. You require twenty six. <sighs> nice. Bastard. You require ah. ninety. Ah, gotta relax. Time to seal the deal. You require twenty six. <sighs> nice. You require mm. forty seven. Not good. Ah, really? Bastard. Yeah, and I get shot. Aloha. Thank you. Don't go crazy this time. Pissing me off. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm up. Here we go. Right on. Care to dance? Be honored. Aloha! Thank you. Aloha! Thank you.
Yo. Yeah. Hasuga. Hear you, sir. Ready for a beat down? All right, let's go. Okay, I'm up. You're in on this All passengers, you might want to buckle up. Here comes the finisher! 
Catch you later. You boys are nothing. Doing better than I thought. Who knew I had it in me? Think I'm getting better at this. Why'd you do that? Uh, do what? You nearly got your head blown off just now! Oh! <laughs> True that. Close one, huh? <laughs> More than close, dumbass! How the hell can you just throw your life away? Get the hell? <sighs> no brainer, man. I'd take a bullet for a bud any day. <sighs> oh, uh, which reminds me, how's the hair? Ah, oh, shit, don't tell me. curious son, I don't have a bald patch, do I? I think the bullet ripped a chunk out. Does it look bad? Hmm, can't say I see any difference. The tips are a bit burned, but your hair looks like it's seen more bullets than one. What? Because it's standing up on end? Look, pal, I'll have you know this is a custom job, okay? Special order, top of the line cut. I paid money for They're this. on another level.